Excel like editing and reorder records by drag and drop. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro version 10.5 or later. Here I have a simple project with two tables, orders and order details. The tables are in a one-to-many relationship where one order can have more than one or many detailed records. The detailed records for each order are identified by matching the ID column in the order table with order ID in the detail table. This is all I've done so far. The project was built and uploaded and it's looking as follows. Here I am on the order list page and I have detail records for each order. I can also view a single order and its details. This is especially convenient when an order has a lot of detail records. I can either click on the order menu or back to master table to return to the list page. Also, take note that you can sort the list page by clicking on the column headings. All of this is so far and much more is a simple out of the box functionality created by the software by setting a relationship between two tables. I'm now going to change the order list page to have drag and drop functionality. In other words, I will be able to sort the records on the list page by dragging them where I want them to be. I'm also going to change the detail records to have an Excel or spreadsheet look and feel. We will also see how the Excel or spreadsheet mode appears when a single order with details is active on the page. Ok, back at the project I go to the Choose Pages screen. I will first activate the drag and drop functionality on the order listing page. With the order table selected, click on Settings next to List Page. Under the sorting options on the pop-up, select Reorder Table Rows with Drag and Drop. Now you need an integer field in the database table that will be used to sort the records. We now need to specify which field will be used to sort the records. In this case, I already have a column called Sort, which I created some time ago for sorting the records. It makes sense to use this column for sorting, as it already exists and is already populated, right? Well, yes and no. I will explain shortly. Ok, now back at the project, let's select the sort column. But only column ID and shipper ID is available for selection. None of these can be used to sort the rows as the customer ID and the shipper ID can never change. The reason why we do not have the sort field in the dropdown for selection is because the field is not part of the SQL query. So I will cancel this for now and go back to the query. At the query designer, I find the field and select it for output. Now back at Choose Pages, Settings, select a Reorder Table Rows with Drag and Drop and the field Sort is now available for selection. But we have a warning. Field contents will be overridden. What does this mean? Well, it's trying to tell us that all the values currently in this field will be replaced by new values if I continue. Now this may or may not be an issue depending on your specific situation, so just be aware and be careful. In this project, it does not really matter. I will continue. You will also note that reorder records when clicking on column header and create sort by drop down menu are now both disabled. This is perfectly normal and it makes sense. You cannot have both, it is either or. Click OK. 
I now build and upload the project and refresh the listing page. Note, column headings are not clickable anymore. The difference is, I can now drag and drop rows wherever I want them. There are three pages, so how do I drag a row from page 1 to page 2? Well, you simply increase the page size. Next, let's activate spreadsheet mode on the details table. Back at the project, at the choose page screen, select the order details table and activate spreadsheet mode. Add new record automatically is selected by default under spreadsheet mode settings. I now build and upload the project. Refresh the page and the details page is now in spreadsheet mode with an empty row at the bottom where I can add a new child record. I select a product ID and receive an error that the record was not added. Column quantity cannot be null. What is going on? It is important to understand how spreadsheet mode works. Once you add a value to a field, PHP Runner attempts to add the entire record into the database, or at least all visible fields on the list page. Since I did not supply a value for quantity yet, PHP Runner added a null value to the field. The database table does not allow null values for this field, hence the reason for the error. You now have two options. You can either unselect Add New Records Automatically at the spreadsheet mode settings and users will have to use the Add New button to add new records or you can amend the table to allow null values for this field. Whichever you decide will depend on your project requirements. I'm going to change the database field to allow null values. I now try to add a new record again and this time everything is working well. So by the way, values are updated the moment I add or change them. No save button is needed. It is also working as expected when a single master record and its details are displaying. Now let's see if it's possible to add a drag and drop functionality to a list page that is also in spreadsheet mode. Back at the project, I select the order details table on the choose pages screen, settings next to list page and select reorder table rows with drag and drop. I do not have a field in this table that can be used by a PSP runner to store a row order. So I will let the PHP Runner create a field for me that can be used by selecting Create New. Click OK. Right now, at this point in time, PHP Runner added a field called Order to the database table. It does not contain any values yet. All records are set to null. I now build and upload the files. Refresh the page, open some child records and yes, although the list page is in spreadsheet mode, I can also drag and drop records. Let's see what happened in the database. I only drag and drop three records, yet each record in the database now has a value. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.